every day, months, every way. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have some fucking hectic mods going on to the chip. We've got a mega underglow and a beautiful XR5 over there. We've got a strap bar. Sway bar, strap bar. Sway bar, mate, come on. Mate, we do rice mods over here on the <laughs> And some spark plugs going on to the XR5 today. Mate, it's a so, banger in store, I'll tell you what. Wow. Well, okay. The XR5 today, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up, guys, coming up. How good? Let's go. Okay. We're filming this whole time. Here we have our, you know, nice. Come on, All right. mate, come on. Anyways. Fucking hoons, anyways. Fucking hoons, We've got man. a nice little hole down here. Like to current put the affair. Yeah, call current affair, mate. They're not going to be happy. <laughs> nice little hole down here to put the wires through. Yeah, yeah. But, Vin's used to them. Me and my mate Rick, experienced Lego builder right here. <laughs> <laughs> this is Rick, guys, the electrician of the fucking channel. We are going to get some electrical supplies <laughs> so we can box these fucking wires. All right, stay well, tuned, stay tuned. Ricky, we're finding some extra wires, some extra plugs. And God knows what else, because I know nothing about electrical. Walk around of Ricky Sportiva. Look how clean this thing is. This thing. Beautiful. Beautiful. See? It has like the reject shop version of VTEC. That's the only thing, you know? So, in this beautiful bag right here. The homie Rick has gotten us some uh, electrical supplies. Official all order electrician of the channel. Yeah, exactly. We've got three electricians for some underglow right here. This is beautiful. Huh? Alright, we're going hard. The, the chief's Let's getting go. all the boys on it, man. Let's go. I think Hell we've got a W. I think we've we've penetrated. Right, we've penetrated, we've bro. Penetrated. I think we've it's gone through. Right, it's gone through. Look at that. Vin's car has penetrated. Alright guys, we're about to do a fucking fully hectic rear sway bar install. See the old little shitty one up here? We're gonna replace that. Oh! Come here, we'll show This is what we're putting in, guys. White no, line no. rear sway bar. No, no, we're putting in the fucking wheel caps, alright? Yeah. Well, we're not putting that in. We're putting a better brand onto the car. Making it reliable. <laughs> Guys, we'll take you for a tour. We're gonna see what Ali is on. Ali, what are we doing? Shoo! We're just stripping a couple bolts. Yep, Alex is our certified bolter right here. Right. For every mod he does, he also breaks something. Exactly. You know? I heard that, yeah. yeah one heard. step forward, one step backwards. Exactly. Wait, you only heard, mate, but now you're gonna get some experience on this, mate. Look, we're fucking 25 inches away from this fucking one. Alright. Don't worry, we'll break through soon, boys. Word has it, when the suspension falls off, we're going to get some beautiful weight reduction for the track. We've heard, we've heard it. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> what are we working on, boys? Alright, uh, guys. Good track day mod team coming. We're simply going to give you some track maintenance. Basically, we're going to show you guys how we're going to do the spark plugs on the XR5. Give them a shot of the intake. So what we're basically going to do is... I've already taken this bolt off here from the OEM denial intake, just a little Allen key fitting. There's just one bolt behind here. What I'm doing right now as well is just, I'm just gonna take the hose clamp behind there if we can see it. So I'll just show you guys. Down here, there's a hose clamp, a bit hard to see, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll get that off in a moment. We'll show you guys. <laughs> Alright, last bolt out. Pull this intake out. I'm out. There 
is. Yeah, we're gonna need that sensor. Let's get all the hectic dose. <laughs> Alright guys. So we're basically gonna be replacing the spark plugs. I don't know when they got last changed. It's going to track next week, so just doing preventative maintenance. We've argued on RS spark plugs. They should run a little bit nicer. Uh, it does stutter sometimes, so we're just gonna try and eliminate that and see how the old ones are and everything. But yeah, we'll reach you in a second, mate. guys we're getting into it now we've taken the cover off we can see the the, the coil packs here five so it is a five cylinder officially confirmed no oil leaks as well which is mate very very surprising what more do you want very surprising but we'll get these coil packs off in a second and we'll show you guys um our progress hey looking good alex about to break something Fuck no. we'll catch you later the snow a winter lying next to you a place that I go to think about my time with you. So tell me why you left me there. See, you know I care. So tell me why you disappeared. Yeah, they're not looking too bad. Uh, some of them a little bit worse for wear, but we'll have that fixed in a moment, hey? Alright, guys, we've got the new spark plugs here. Let's take a little cardboard around there. Usually, it all depends, like, spark plug by spark plug, but with the cardboard around them, usually they want to protect the top. Um, and these ones in particular, they are genuine spark plugs. A lot of times, these actually pre-gapped. If your spark plugs aren't pre-gapped, you need a gapping tool or a gapping coin. And basically, what you want to make sure is, is the gap between the actual point there and the top there is actually the right distance to make sure it's actually sparking correctly, if that makes sense. But, yeah, we'll get these in, hey, and we'll smash it out. Spark plugs as well. We've got Alex over here. Just screwing him in lightly there. But we're gonna make sure that they're actually torqued up correctly. And um, so when we have a look on the box, we can actually see that it says 28 Newton meters there, if that makes sense. Yeah. So what that basically means is I'm gonna go get the, I'll show you guys the torque wrench. And we're gonna make sure they're all torqued up correctly. So make sure that they don't come out. So we should have it in the back here. Beautiful, mate. Let's kit it out. So the way these basically work are, you got the your, your twist handle here, if that makes sense. We got pound feet. We also got newton meters for us here over in Australia. Okay, so we'll basically unlock the bottom here, if that makes sense. We'll unlock there. So we want 28 newton meters. So what I'm basically going to do is just screw it out. You can see all the numbers here. We've got 189, 162, 135, 108. And I'm going to screw it all the way down. Until we can find, oh yep, so we've got 27.1 there. And basically when you see the numbers here, it goes up usually by one, I believe. So we've got 27.1 and then, yeah, we should have 28 there, guys. 28 there. What I'm going to basically do is just lock it up. We'll head over to the car and basically we're going to crank it. As soon as we hear a click, that's when we know it's, it's talked up correctly, hey? Yeah. Right, guys, we've, we've hand-tied them properly in there. We're going to get the torque wrench. We've got our... Uh, spark plug socket here. It's basically a little rubber piece in it, basically to, to try and help um, catch that spark plug. Mate, it's good stuff. We'll go to the centre down here. Make sure it's in it properly. Yep. I'll okay, get a bit of an aerial shot of that. Good stuff, man. Alright. Alright, so what we're going to do is, just come come have a listen to the sound. A bit closer. I could hear it just click then, so, hear yeah. that click? Yeah, yeah. That's how we know it's talked up correctly, okay? Alright, sweet. We're just going to do the middle one there, get that out. I'm going to do the one over here now. Getting a first start up with new spark plugs, Shawnee fire it up. This 
just right here, mate. <laughs> Mate, what are you? Running right, mate. Running right. Ready for the track, mate. Ready to go. Starters, we've got a nice innovative design here. No longer do we need someone holding this up. Anyways, <laughs> that's it, mate. Here. These bad boys are ready to go in. We've had success. Full JDM spec, five dollars off eBay. Rick, like electrician, that. has. Rick. Has pulled through. Rick Simon and Jordan Electrical Services has pulled through for the underglows. Fully Just recommend so that, official sponsors of the channel. This is like some Coles Isle 8 type stuff. Just straight rice. Let's go, boys. <laughs> We're just running it through at the moment. Let's have a look here. It looks straight. That's the lip we installed recently. Gonna look hectic with some underglow, I'll tell you what. Alright, so we've got a fresh Coles Isle 8 rice right here. That's it. Some nice underglows right here. Rice, rice. And that's about it for today's video. We've got um, Sean's spark plugs in, Sean's um, sway bar. What else? The sway bar. The sway bar. The sway bar. The sway bar. It's late, it. guys, we're, we're getting tired. Yeah, we're getting tired. tired. It's a bit late. But um, <laughs> had a successful night tonight. Yeah, All we'll the show boys you. Us out. But um, we'll show you, mate. We're looking good. It's uh, the spark plugs are feeling good. The the sway bar is ready for the track, and hopefully with some track content coming coming soon. Hey? All right. Like, right. comment, and subscribe. Drop a comment down below if you enjoyed the video. And we're at everyday mods every week. Let's go.